Hey friends, this is Sketch Dirt and I'm Marla and today we're going to be drawing 3D letters E, F, G, and H. We're working our way through the alphabet four at a time. Uh, today I'm using a number two pencil. I'm drawing on 11 by 14 inch paper and I have it sectioned out into um, the first three squares measure two and a half by three inches and then the last square for the H measures three by three inches. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just drawing the letters with single lines. I'm just gauging my space within these squares so that way when I start drawing the dimensional letters uh, I have a bit of a guide to go on. I already know how the letters are going to fill up these spaces. And as you can see with the H, I'm not going end to end with the H because I felt like it would be too big. It wouldn't necessarily match the um, weight of the rest of the letters. Uh, but that's what this part of the drawing is for, is to see where to where to place everything. So now I've picked up the letter E and I'm beginning to draw in the serifs. Um, to, I've started with the serifs just to see where they're kind of going to land um, in, in relation to the rest of the letter. And when you're drawing your letters, um, you'll start wherever, wherever kind of feels right um, for, for whatever your uh, style is. And I'm just going through and just lightly penciling everything in. And I'm not really worried about clean lines. At this point, um, this, is, this is lettering practice. And so uh, I'm just basically getting a feel for where um, the parts of the letters are going to net out um, on each individual, uh, each individual letter. Um, I'm going in with the F now, and since this this part of the this matches the E pretty well, this one's pretty easy, and this is why we're kind of doing the letters four at a time, just so that we can see like what letters have shapes that can apply to each other, and uh, this is going to make it a lot easier for you. And now I'm getting to the G, and this one is pretty tough, and again this is so great for comparison to the other letters as you can see that first serif it's a bit longer than the F and the E and so um, that's why I kind of made room when I penciled out that that single line shape um, for that longer serif at the top and really you can draw your serifs you can draw your letters however you like I've brought in these three-dimensional shapes so that it wouldn't seem so intimidating for you to just start from scratch you can you have a reference um, for what I'm drawing and and how I'm going about it and now I'm penciling in the H and I'm again not filling the entire space I'm just kind of like feeling out how much room do I need for this or how large does this need to be in comparison to the other letters and when I finish this up here I'm gonna go through and erase all these extra lines and I did not want to include a bunch of erasing in the video and that's why this is really sped up but I think it's important to kind of see what my process is and see really how much I am erasing because I end up erasing about half of the letters but now that I know what I want them to look like um, I'm gonna go in and just pencil them pencil those letters back in with cleaner lines And again, when you do this, you're gonna um, you're gonna basically, since this is hand lettering, it's not computer. 
you kind of are at liberty to do this um, the way you want and add creative elements uh, that you want to your own letters. You could make the serifs larger, you could make them smaller. Now for this 3D part, I'm going to show you a trick. Um, it's not really a trick, it's just an, it's an easier way to figure out how the three-dimensional aspect of this will work out. And you take a piece of tissue paper and you outline the letter, um, just like we did, just like we did after we erased. And then what you're going to do is you're going to shift that down. And as you can see, now the 3D portion of this, that extra side, um, this gives you a guide for how to draw that. When you're first starting out, it can be really difficult to figure out what that would be. And um, this is kind of a, a helpful tip for that. Since I gave this tip in the ABC video, uh, I'm going to give you another tip here, which is uh, I'm drawing another letter very quickly. I'm doing the exact same thing. And the benefit to using a piece of tissue paper like this is you can take these pieces and then take your letters and you can move them together. You can space them apart. If you're, whatever you're designing, you need to see how they'll lay out and how they'll fit. Um, that's what you can use that tissue paper for. And since this is hand lettering, um, and maybe you don't have tissue paper available, that's what we're doing today. We're going to go through and we're going to do this by hand without the tissue paper. We're going to figure it out. Um, and when you do this, this part can be just as messy as the initial um, first panel drawing of it. You're just feeling it out and kind of feeling out how thick do you want those letters, um, how dimensional and um, this time though, uh, let those messy lines, don't worry about them. You can go through and erase them if you want, depending on how you're drawing them and what your art is looking like. But for this lesson here, we're gonna um, fix those like uh, stray lines with shading when we shade that other, the other side of the letters. And as you can see, this G is, this is a tough one. I've always had um, a tough time with the letter G. It's probably one of my favorite letters to draw, but it's uh, a tough one. And that's why we're going through each of the letters like this so that you can see um, the unique characteristics of each one. All right, and now the fun begins. Now I'm shading uh, those other sides of the letters. I'm defining the edges, and I'm just going through and basically um, emphasizing that uh, three-dimensional shape. And for whatever your project is, if you're using pencil, if you're using um, markers, paints, chalk, uh, the same principles would apply there. If you're doing this on the, if you're drawing this, if you're sketching this out to take it to the computer, um, again, same thing. Uh, but the great thing is, is that these hand elements, you can't get this from a computer. All you can, you can only get this from like a piece of paper. Um, computers come really close to mimicking uh, hand drawing anymore but it's still it's not the same it, it doesn't have that same imperfect unique quality which is the reason why um, you'd want to do this to begin with and we're getting really close to wrapping it up thank you so much for watching um, please subscribe to my channel if you like this please um, hit the like button um, in the comments below. Definitely tell me what you'd like to see me draw. Tell me what you like to draw. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much.